In this lesson, we'll practice making plans. We'll start off the lesson with a grammar point. But in this particular lesson, we'll look at three grammar points, three future tenses with very similar meanings. So let's get ready to try these tricky tenses. When making plans, we usually use these three types of future tenses. and an ing verb. The example here, I'm meeting some friends. Now you may know present continuous for three reasons. The first, which is very common, is the present. And the meaning is just present continuous for doing something right now. For example, I'm eating lunch right now. But in this lesson, we are focusing on future forms. So we could be talking about doing something in the near future, which is 100% likely, or doing something at a fixed time in the future that is also 100% likely. Some examples of this in practice are the following three sentences. I'm meeting some friends later. I'm going to Vancouver next month. I'm making dinner for my parents tonight. So take note, each sentence has a specific time, later, next month, tonight. Let's explore these sentences in more detail. So I'm meeting my friends later means at 2 p.m. there's a definite time and it's confirmed. I am definitely meeting my friends later. I'm going to Vancouver next month could mean I've already bought my ticket. It is confirmed and I'm definitely going. I'm making dinner for my parents tonight. Perhaps means they would be very angry if I canceled. Our next future form after present continuous is future simple with be going to. This is formed using a subject, a be verb, going to, and a do verb. I'm going to meet some friends in the park this weekend. Some common uses for future simple with be going to include the below. So something you're doing in the near future, but it's less than 100% certain. So you're not absolutely sure about this. You don't know if you're going to do it. The other is doing something that's not quite confirmed, but is your intention. So you want to do this thing, but it might not happen. The third is when preparing to do something or preparing someone to do something. And also in this case, some modals of probability come in. So this is a, a different grammar point. And we often use be going to with modals like probably. Let's look at some examples in the next slides. Let's look at some examples of future simple with be going to. I'm going to meet some friends later. I'm probably going to watch a movie. I'm going to get groceries sometime today. We're going to leave the house at five. You might be thinking this seems pretty confusing, but if you look closely at these sentences, there is something that is not said.
but I'm going to meet some friends later, but something might happen that will stop me from meeting them. I'm probably going to watch a movie tonight. I haven't decided, but it's likely that I will watch a movie. So I'm probably going to. I'm going to get groceries sometime today, but I'm not sure when and I might get them tomorrow. But that's my plan. And finally, we're going to leave the house at five. In this case, this is an example of preparing someone else for something that will happen. So we're going to leave the house at five, so be ready. And finally, we arrive at future simple with will. This is formed with a subject, will, and a simple do verb, and is the common form for the future simple. I'll watch your bike for you. Some common uses of this form include the future intentions, making a sudden decision to do something, so in the moment, deciding to do something, promising or offering to do something for someone else, and planning something as part of a group, for example, delegating tasks. We often find modals of probability with this form as well, such as probably or most likely. Here are some examples of our future form with will. You don't have a car? I'll drive you. I'll call you later. I'll bring an appetizer. Can you bring the main course? I'll come to your house next weekend. No thanks, I'll probably just stay home tonight. So again, some of these are pretty difficult to understand without context. So let's take a closer look. You don't have a car? I'll drive you. This is both a sudden decision and an offer to do something. Perhaps your friend doesn't have a car and you decide in the moment that you will drive them. And you're also offering to drive them. I'll call you later. This is a promise. You've made the decision in the moment, but you are promising to call them later. I'll bring an appetizer. Can you bring the main course? This is an example of a plan delegating tasks to someone. So I will bring an appetizer and you can bring the main course. I'll come to your house next weekend. This is a promise again, and it's often made in the moment. No thanks, I'll probably just stay home tonight. So this is a sudden decision, but it's also using a modal, probably. So this is very likely, and you're deciding right now. I'll probably just stay home tonight. Okay, so a quick review. We have our present continuous, I'm going, our future simple with be going to, I'm going to go, and our future simple with will, I'll go. So I'm going is our 100% plan. This is 100% going to happen and not much will change that. I'm going to go is our less than 100% plan. So something may happen to change our plans and we have multiple meanings and lots of different possibilities with our future simple with be going to. Finally, I'll go is a quick decision made in the moment and usually takes the form of a promise or an offer that you've made right now. So let's practice a little bit. Now we have our first sample conversation. The situation is talking to your friend on the phone. We have one question, what are you doing today? And three different possible answers. So each blank, let's choose present continuous, future with be going to, or future simple with will. And let's change the verb meet the second one is also meet, and the third is come visit. So take a moment, look at the likelihood of each sentence. So 100%, less than 100%, and making a quick decision. 
take a few minutes and fill in the blanks with what you think would be the best option for each one. Okay, let's look at some answers to these questions. So talking to your friend on the phone. What are you doing today? I'm meeting some friends at two. So here is our present continuous. It was 100% likely plan. And there's a set time at 2 p.m. So there's very little that will happen to change this plan. I'm going to meet some friends later if the weather's nice. So this is our less than 100% plan. And if it rains or if something comes up, then our plans might change. So we use, I'm going to meet. Finally, I'll come visit you later if you're free. We use this one because it's a decision made in the moment. So your friend asks, what are you doing today? And you say, nothing. I'll come visit you later if you're free. Now here's a longer conversation. We're going to use multiple future forms to form this conversation between friends. So take a look at the words in the brackets. So come by, which was a quick decision. Go, be, but you're not sure, and call. So let's change those verbs into present continuous form, future simple with be going to, and future simple with will. And look at the sentences around the brackets for some clues on which form to choose. Take a few seconds, maybe press pause, and we'll take a look at the answers on the next slide. Okay, let's take a look at the answers here. The first one, I'll come by for a little bit, is a decision you made in the moment. Your friend asked, hey, do you wanna meet us in the park? And you made a quick decision, yes, I'll come by for a little bit. The second, but I'm going to my friend's birthday at 8 p.m. This is a set time, 8 p.m., and it's a 100% plan. So maybe your friend would be upset if you didn't arrive at 8 p.m. We're probably going to be here for a few hours. This is likely, but not 100%. So we're not sure how long we will be at the park but we're probably going to be here for a few hours. Okay, I'll call you when I leave my house. And this is a decision made in the moment, and it's a promise for something you will do once that happens, once you leave your house. So let's read this through to see how natural we can sound. Hey, do you want to meet us in the park? Um, I'll come back for a little bit, but... I'm going to my friend's birthday at eight. Are you going to be there long? Uh, we're probably going to be here for a few hours. Okay, I'll call you when I leave my house. Awesome, great job, fantastic work, and hopefully you feel a little more confident with future tenses. See you in the next lesson.